Hello beautiful people. Welcome to my channel, Wake Up Bright, where I share all of the things that help me live each day a little brighter. This is a little bit of a variety vlog over a couple days. My husband and I went grocery shopping and I snack prepped for our weight loss journeys. My husband's looking to shed just a few pounds and I am trying to lose a lot of weight. Let's get into our vlog. One of my favorite things my husband and I have started doing together regularly is going to yoga together. I think I've shared this a couple times now, but it truly is one of my favorite things that over the course of our marriage that we've done because going to yoga, like especially together, yoga is such a personal thing. You, it's your practice, it's your body, but to go and have the support of my husband, it's just, it's really, it's been, it's been amazing. And I find that we now do other things together like grocery shop, which I used to always go alone. Before we moved here, my husband maybe went grocery shopping with me like 10 times, <laughs> our whole marriage. And now we always go together almost. All right, so the hubs is coming with. Yay. He's so tired, you're grumpy. <laughs> what kind of workout did you do today? Uh, today was an easy one. An easy one, he says. It started off with, um, my set of 50 was 25 curls and 25 dips, with the curls being uh, 25 pound dumbbells. The next one was thrusters, and that was 75 pounds, 40 set, or 40 reps. Then 30 sit-ups, 20 push-ups, 10 burpees, and then a thousand meter row, and I had to do that three times. So. Sounds exhausting. I'm exhausted. Well, we made our list last night. I thought I would show you all the list really quick. So, banana sickle things that I like. Um, I'm gonna look and see what kind of cauliflower crust they have, pizza they have. Almond milk. We may or may not get hummus or dip. I'm gonna um, do snack things for us where it's already measured out. And then some Olipop, if they have them. They haven't been having them lately. Uh, dry goods, um, I got my husband some Kodiak bars and he really liked them. Smart Pop. This seasoning, everybody said on Instagram when I posted this post about our watermelon argument the other day. And so I'm gonna try it. Then we've got some stuff from the butcher and some produce things. So that's the list. Let's get it done. Back to Sprouts we go. Sprouts is probably my favorite place here to shop for groceries. I do like Publix, but I feel like Sprouts is just so easy for us to get in and get specifically what we want and need. And there's not a lot of other things around. I don't, I don't know if that makes, it probably makes absolutely no sense. It's probably got the same exact things as most other grocery stores, but it's how it feels. It's the layout, the layout for me, but I'm not allowed to go to Sprouts anymore after that one grocery haul I shared with y'all without a list. And we've made a few changes. Um, you may or may not notice as we go through, but I wanted to get some hummus and try a few new flavors. Well, a new flavor. And I really liked that this brand was on sale. So I had never used this brand before and just wanted to give it a go. So two for six and we like hummus. So I will meal prep some hummus. I'm gonna get some veggies specifically for that. And then instead of getting ribeye, we have started getting sirloin, which I used to only do sirloin. And then my husband kind of won me over to ribeyes, but we are trying to make the switch back to sirloin just because it is a leaner cut of meat. We have also cut back how often we have steak and yeah. So, I mean, I would say most of our meals come from the meal prep company and then we meal prep and supplement that as well. And yeah, it's going really good. Then we grab some veggies for some snack things that I'm gonna meal prep in a little bit and some watermelon, pineapple, grapes. I was gonna meal prep more than I did. I just ran out of containers, so you guys will see that. Like, I thought I had more containers. I think we're missing a box of our kitchen goods that I just never noticed because obviously we have too much stuff. So <laughs> there's that. Um, the Hubs did make a few random picks. Like, I had sweet potatoes, red potatoes, and he got these little potato things. So oh, he'll 
I'm not gonna be eating those, so. But he also wanted, oh, and he got the Skinny Pop. I thought he was looking for Smart Pop or something. He is like such a Greg Doucette fan all of a sudden. <laughs> That's not how I feel about that. And so he was looking for the popcorn Greg Doucette said to get. I don't think that that was it, but maybe it was. And then I wanted my little chocolate covered bananas and my husband impulsively grabbed some like Tillamook ice cream sandwiches. He said to tell you guys, totally not worth it. So in case you're wondering, you'll see those when I do like the haul at the end or like share everything that we got. So there's that. Alrighty, we are back. <laughs> the hub has already gone to lay down. I'm just gonna show you everything we picked up. He grabbed a few extra things, I think. Should be in the background. And let's do it. We're just gonna start over here. Well, I guess we'll start. We'll start here in the middle. So the meal prep company that we get a lot of meals from does these pizzas and they haven't had in the past couple weeks. And so I'm like, I've gotten accustomed to doing the cauliflower pizzas that they make. And they're generally around 600 calories for the whole pizza. And so I'm gonna try to recreate that. Um, and eventually maybe I'll try to actually make cauliflower crust. I know that I like quesadillas, so if I don't like these as a pizza base, then that's what I will use. I'll use one tortilla to make a quesadilla and then do that and like some broccoli or something for a meal. Um, so I was comfortable buying this. And then this right here, I've literally never heard of. And it's only 220 calories, which may seem like a lot, but the cauliflower, ready-made cauliflower crust stuff had a lot more calories in it that they had there. So we're just gonna see. So this is pizza parlor crust. I've literally never heard of it. Um, but yeah, so 220 calories, we shall see. Then this is just a low carb whole wheat tortilla. Um, this is 90 calories, so this would make like a good base as well. So the two pizzas that the meal prep company I like, they make a buffalo chicken pizza that I really like. And then they make a Hawaiian pizza that I really like. And the Hawaiian pizza, they do barbecue sauce. So I got this, which is 45 calories for two tablespoons, which is not bad. And then this, which is way better because it's um, one tablespoon is 15. So it'll be 30 and a lot less carbs. So this is actually, this is actually pretty good. And then meat wise for the pizzas, I just got some, um, some boneless, skinless chicken breast tenders. And then we got my husband some thighs, and then we got some sirloins. So that's what we got there. Then tomorrow, and you guys will see this later in today's video, I'm gonna make little snack packs, make little hummus packs. We have some hummus in the fridge that I'm gonna use before I use these, but I also grabbed these as well, just to try out. So this is jalapeno cilantro and spicy avocado. Those sounded pretty good to me. These my husband grabbed for him. So he grabbed all of these yogurts, which surprised me because I don't know if I've ever seen him eat yogurt, but we'll see. Then he also wanted to try the Skinny Pop. So he got white cheddar and butter. I like the Skinny Pop okay, but I would prefer just to pop it. So I did not buy this from, from um, Sprouts. I get this from Walmart. So it's just mini bags you pop in the microwave. And I'm sure people will have opinions and everybody's entitled to their opinions, but I still like it. And let's see, it is 130 calories for a bag. So I like these a lot. Um, then my husband grabbed potatoes, potatoes and potatoes. He got a lot of potatoes. So we will see if he gets through these before they go bad. Um, okay, back to list items that I got. So I got pineapple, grapes, carrots, celery. Then we got some straws and we got some raspberries, a watermelon. And I have one other watermelon in there, a freezer, refrigerator, not freezer. So that's good. And then I really like these Diana milk chocolate banana babies. Then my husband has been doing protein shakes every day. I will, when it starts getting colder, go back to oatmeal. And so I will start using the almond milk. But for now, that's not what I'm doing. My husband got these mint chocolate chip ice cream sandwiches for him. And there's the macros on those. I will not eat these. Just 
personal preference. Um, I will eat these instead. And then we got him some of these crunchy granola bars so he can take them with him in the morning when he has PT. So that is everything we got. Hi, Tibby Tibby. Let's go, Chip Chippy. Let's go, Chip Chippy. Why are you being so funny? Oh, why is she being so weird? Let's go. All right, beautiful people. So I got the fruit. I'm gonna cut up. This is just a quick snack prep. Like, it's not anything like earth shattering. I've got my little food skittle. I've got this to help. Underneath me, I have food containers. And I'm just gonna dive in to cut it. I'm gonna speed it up and then I'll show you what we have, how it breaks down, calories, and, and all of the things. So let's just <laughs> get into it or cut into it, I should say. So I did some research and watched a few YouTube videos. And when I say research, I mean like my level of research. I would not, I'm not trying to get like a PhD in nutrition or anything, but on anti-inflammatory foods. And one thing that I really saw reoccurring was watermelon. And I love watermelon. Watermelon is like one of my favorite foods. I think like watermelon and chicken are like top, top of the list as far as favorite foods go for me. And so I've been getting it and I realized the other day, and, it, and I feel silly that it's taken me so long in my life, but I realized the other day that if it's not prepped, if it's not ready to go, it's, I don't grab it. And then either I don't eat, and if I'm, if I'm hungry and I put off eating, then I wanna eat more when I actually do eat. Also, um, sometimes I'll grab something else that might be a little more calorie dense. And then when I go to eat, later in the evening, I don't like have as many calories or whatever. I find that I like my biggest meal in the evenings. So I don't like to eat all of the calories that I have in the morning. And I know that it is recommended to eat like your biggest meal at breakfast, but that just, when I do that, I just get more hungry throughout the day. So limiting and eating specific foods um, really helps me manage my appetite and going ahead and prepping the food already having it measured out like the amount of grams that i have in each container the amount of calories of each container has been very very helpful and so i never really thought about meal prepping if you will fruit because that doesn't sound like something like oh, you're not meal prepping you're just cutting stuff up but it is so beneficial to have everything cut up and ready to go it's like meal preparing <laughs> so and then the ones i did run out of meal prep containers um as you'll see and for that i did um just put things in larger containers so it's already prepared and then i just need to portion it out when we use the containers that already have the exact amounts so it's really wonderful I feel like you guys are gonna think I'm absolutely ridiculous for this one and that's okay. I feel like there's other people out there. They might not do this with the same thing that I did it with, but we do it with things. I have never bought a whole pineapple. <laughs> I always buy it pre-cut because I thought it was some complicated, you need special tools in order to do a pineapple, like to cut up a pineapple. Well, finally I was like, it really can't be that hard and I'll just order the tool because they charge so much for the already like chopped and like prepared pineapple and other fruits. So I, um, I did my research and it's so easy. Cutting a pineapple is so much easier than watermelon and watermelon is just a nightmare. I did wanna mention, I did put um, paper towels and then a cutting board inside of a cookie sheet so to limit the mess from the watermelon because watermelon juice gets everywhere and I hate it. I think I already shared that already. Um, then I just cut up some strawberries and measured them out, strawberries and pineapple. And that's 100 and I think 133 for all of that. So then I prepared our vegetables and I just put them in a larger container because like I will tell you guys in just a few minutes, I couldn't find our small containers. I could only find two of them. So it is what it is. <laughs> these are the snacks that I prepped for us. So I have these bigger containers like of the watermelon, 
of the pineapple where we can just pull out what we like and then I have the same with the strawberries. We had less strawberries left over. They tend to go bad or quicker. So then I have these little pineapple and strawberries. This is 133 calories for all this pineapple and the strawberries. So it's really good. And then I did not like measure these out because it's just prepped, ready for us to put together. I have more containers than this. I cannot find them anywhere. I have several because I bought two, well, my sister bought me one of these sets and then I bought a second set. So, and then I also bought these as well off Amazon and Walmart. So I got them from both places, but I love these and I love the ones my sister got me because they're pink and cute. And they're for my sister, so of course I love them. Um, these have, these have 146 calories in each of them, and that's because I doubled up on the hummus. So I used all of the hummus that we had left, and I doubled up on the serving size for that. So you've got the peppers, and then you have the hummus, and I just made it to where it was that same, so that way I can put the post-it on the fridge, so my husband knows what I put in everything. He eats quite a bit. Um, his his ca daily calories a little bit higher than mine and so I hate when I've prepped stuff because I've done this a few times this week thinking I've prepped enough for us and then I open the fridge and I'm like all I wanted was watermelon <laughs> and there's no watermelon or we have a whole watermelon and so I mean it's not that big of a deal to cut watermelon but it does take me I don't know if I'm just like an extra kind of special or what but it takes me a minute to cut up watermelon so and it's a mess. I hate how it gets sticky everywhere and then you have to like clean it up. But it's worth it because, I mean, watermelon will fill you up. This is a lot of watermelon. Like this is not little. Let's put it up to my head. Well, I've got a big head so it probably doesn't even help. But um, I love it. I think having, adding like the this as well and maybe even getting some like vanilla Greek yogurt or something. We'll see how long all of this stuff lasts. But I'm hoping it lasts us at least towards midweek to the end of the week. So, like if this lasted us a week, I would be very surprised. Um, but it'll probably last us, you know, four days or so, four or five days. I think, I don't know, I'll have to let you know. Follow me on Instagram if you don't, and I'll let Instagram know. <laughs> So, yeah, what I was saying is the hubs eats quite a bit more calories than I do per day. And, well, I guess that's relative. Um, but he eats more, even though he's cutting. Um, yeah, so I am walking now. Very unmotivated. I don't know why I feel so unmotivated. I actually love, love. Like, this is, this is typically one of the highlights of my day. I think what happened is I just, I didn't get out and go early enough and now I don't have time so I'm going to have to do my walk in two places and I kind of have a bad attitude about that so anyway, let's walk. I hope you enjoyed watching my snack prep, <laughs> snack prep and grocery shopping trip video. A little bit of workout, 
a little bit of walking. The sun's setting pretty fast. I'm gonna walk the pups and that will be it for this video. I am so grateful for y'all. If y'all enjoyed this, for real, let me know. And I will try to do more prep videos. I always feel silly because one, I hate cooking and most kitchen things. But two, I'm like, it's the simplest thing. This is even interesting, but it's what we eat. Like the second half of July and August, like this has been our jam. Watermelon, fresh fruits, anything that is anti, has anti-inflammatory properties, like the pineapple, watermelon. <laughs> Just gonna start repeating myself. Um, but I hope that you guys have a wonderful start to your week and I'll see ya, I'll see ya soon.